before anything else, just a heads up that this playthrough utilizes mods created by players alongside the base game. I'm using the collection called A Story Wealth by Exoclips. This adds so much content to the base game, you'll never run out of things to do. Now, I've heard rumors that raiders have acquired a unique and extremely powerful set of power armor. Far superior than the makeshift pieces of scrap metal they've previously cobbled together and passed off as power armor. There's only one of these out there. You can only find it at a specific raider camp in the wasteland. In this video, I'll take on the challenge of seizing the unique Cagebreaker power armor from the raiders. There's a raider camp in Roadside Pines Motel. It's just south of Poseidon Reservoir. This armor, which looks like the Grim Reaper, is called the Black Widow Armor. It's created by Deserter X and Midasuke. And my companion wearing it is Darlene. A fully voiced companion with her own quests created by Jepaladium. Sneaky, sneaky. I need to tread carefully. At level 17, the raiders here can quickly overpower my character. You can easily tell if you see a skull icon next to their name. This is the place. This location is heavily guarded, with a lookout stationed on the roof armed with a missile launcher. To make matters worse, here's a bunch of super mutants wanting to join in on the action. I'll keep my distance and let the raiders and super mutants duke it out. There's the cage breaker power armor I'm after. Those super mutants actually turned out to be a blessing after all. Their assault crippled the enemy forces, making them much easier to deal with. Only a fucking coward hide. But I'd be some senior screaming zone. Uh oh, I heard something. There's another raider in a power armor, but this one is using the common junk made of scrap and duct tape.
Nevertheless, she's surprisingly tough. I think that's it. Time to take my prize. The Cage Breaker Power Armor is from the mod called Tumbajamba's Raider Power Armor. All I need now is a power armor frame where I can mount the parts. I have one waiting in Sunshine Tidings Co-op. It looks amazing. I'll have Heather take it for a spin. Hey. What's up? Roger that. Heather Caston is a companion from the mod of the same name, created by Llama RCA. <sighs> Nothing like power armor. She's fully voiced and comes with her own quests. The Cage Breaker's physical damage resistance is greater than T45, but it has a slightly lower energy resistance. Overall, each piece will be 10 points tougher against regular attacks, but 5 points weaker against energy blasts. The chest piece offers a significant boost of 20 points to damage protection, but comes at the cost of 30 points less energy defense. The Cage Breaker Power Armor might not have the highest protection, hey. but its fantastic appearance wins me over. There are two other variants of this power armor. They can be found in Leighton Towers and Revere Beach Station. Fan fucking tastic. The one I have now offers the least On protection it. out of the three. I'll be hunting those down next time. Thanks for watching.